Um, the job of the White House photographer is to visually document the presidency for history. But what that really means depends on the president and the relationship the president has with his photographer. This is in the, in the private residence, which is on the third floor of the, of the White House. He was just watching uh, the nightly news. I always tell people when they ask me, what's the difference between Reagan and Obama? You know, during Reagan, there was CBS, NBC, and ABC. That was it. Um, and so everybody always paid attention to the nightly news. That was a big thing. So this was before state dinner, and he was watching, I remember Dan Rather, he was watching Dan Rather. This was a Christmas Eve one year. <laughs> they had a, a, a private dinner in, in D.C. at one of their friends' house. And we would always go with the president wherever he went, even if we weren't going to be making photographs. So this was kind of a private dinner, and I was hanging out in the bedroom with the, the White House doctor and the White House military aide. The three of us were always, would, would go on every trip. Um, and so I'm sitting in the bedroom, and, and Mrs. Wick, who was hosting uh, the party, uh, came to find me, and she said, you know, every year, someone dresses up like Santa Claus and hands out gifts, and this year, it's, it's, it's Ronnie's turn. Can you take some pictures? And I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, Jacob, Philadelphia's last name. He's five. And his dad had worked uh, in the national security world for uh, both the Bush administration and the start of the Obama administration. He was a non-political uh, appointee. And he was getting ready to go on to his next post, like some foreign country. Um, and President Obama liked to have people that were leaving come in, bring their family in, take a picture. I would take a picture of them standing in front of the desk. So I had take, already taken the picture, and then uh, Jacob's mom said, Mr. President, Jacob has a question for you. Now imagine being five years old, you're in the Oval Office, and your mom's just said you're gonna ask the President of the United States a question. So it's very like soft-spoken, Mr. President. My friends say my haircut is just like yours. And President Obama bent over, Jacob touched his head, I got one frame of it, and then it was, it was done. This picture resonated with a lot of people because um, here's a young African-American kid, you know, touching the head of the President of the United States who looks like him. But I think it also tells you something about President Obama that at the behest of a five-year-old, you know, he would go ahead, bend over, and let this kid rub his head. Just to show you some pictures sort of like of the presidency as a whole, this is Air Force One leaving Seattle on a foggy morning. This is at, in, uh, uh, leaving Jamaica. I just got lucky where I lined it up with the rainbow. His helicopter coming into land in Petra, Jordan. Motorcade in uh, Westchester, New York. Christ the Redeemer in Rio. All right, last question. Are there any little kids here? How old are you? I'm nine. Okay. I'm not nine. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But I was nine once. We were all nine once. <laughs> <laughs>I was wondering, out of all the photos that you have ever taken, well, of the president, um, what's your favorite? Oh. <laughs> you, you know what? I, I always, like, punt on this question. Do you know what that means? It means I don't answer it because, like, to me, um, like, people ask me that question. They say, what's your, what's your favorite picture of President Obama? And I hate to say it because um, to me it's always been about the, the body of work, all the different pictures together that give people an impression of what he was like, right? I mean, I guess one, I'll, I'll, one of my favorites is the, the picture of, uh, of Jacob touching the president's head because it just resonates with a lot of people. And I'll tell you one sort of funny story 
when I was uh, putting my book together and I was trying to decide what picture to put on the back cover. So the back cover is the back of the book. And so I posted four pictures on Instagram of the, the four finalists in my mind. And I just uh, I asked people to vote, which, 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 ones did they, which one did they like the best? And the next day, I have this young, probably eight or nine year old kid, African American kid that lives two doors down from me. And um, he saw me in the parking lot and he came running out to me. Uh, uh, his name is Tedessa. And he comes running out and goes, sir, 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 my mom and I saw your Instagram. We voted. And I was like, well, which one did you vote for? And he went like this. <laughs> and I was like, that sealed it right there. That's, 